Hi, I'm Katie Dean, a registered dietitian, and we're here at Brookshire's Grocery Store today to pick up the ingredients that we need for our quinoa, spinach, and pear salad. The items on our healthy grocery shopping list today are quinoa, baby spinach, walnuts, and pink Himalayan salt. Quinoa is one of the world's most popular superfoods. It's naturally gluten-free, it has loads of fiber and protein. It's one of the only plant-based foods that's a complete protein, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids. It can be a great part of a healthy diet. It's great as a side dish with vegetables, or it can be part of um, the main entree as in a vegetarian meal. We all know that dark green leafy vegetables are very healthy for us and baby spinach is no exception. It's high in vitamin A, vitamin K, and folate. Um, baby spinach is actually regular spinach that's been harvested earlier in the season, so the leaves are smaller and more tender. Baby spinach is great in salads. It's great to, um, in place of lettuce on your sandwiches, to add nutrition to your sandwiches, or it's great sauteed um, as a side dish. The next ingredient on the list today are walnuts. Walnuts are actually a great um, source of your omega-3 fatty acids. Just one quarter cup provides over 100% of your daily needs for omega-3s. Omega-3s are healthy for us, as we've talked about earlier. They can lower our risk for heart disease and cancers. Walnuts actually also contain vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant. They're a great way to add flavor, nutrition, and crunch to your recipes. The last item on our grocery list today is pink Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt is actually harvested from a large salt mine in Pakistan. It gets its pink color due to the presence of iron oxide. It's less refined um, and so therefore it has a higher mineral content than regular table salt. So let's get to the fast food kitchen and watch Amanda as she prepares her salad. and welcome to the Fast Food Kitchen. As you can tell, we're now at our new location. Um, it's actually our health management center um, located on Louisville Avenue. Um, you can come and um, see all types of disciplinaries here. We've got registered dietitians, physical therapists, speech therapists. We have diabetes educators. Um, just, we want to have you come in and come see us here at the Louisville office. Today we're going to be um, making a salad um, that's made from quinoa. Um, I have a lot of patients that have been asking about quinoa because they've been hearing about it um, on the news and in healthcare magazines and such. Um, quinoa is actually a grain and um, it actually is a complete protein. And you can use it as you do like rice. Um, it actually is it actually boils like white rice as well with the thyme and um, it's like one cup of quinoa to two cups of water, just like white rice, um, and you boil it and it just fluffs with a fork. Um, I've already had this made. This is actually four cups of quinoa. And, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. This is, today is gonna be the quinoa spinach pear salad. Everything's gonna be gluten-free. Um, I've actually got um, two, actually it's two handfuls, about two cups of um, baby raw spinach that we're going to be placing in here as well. This, um, this salad is going to be chock full of vitamins and minerals and very healthy for you. Um, this is actually a pear. We have um, two large um, pears that I've chopped up. It makes about three cups. We're going to place that in there as well. This is about three quarters cups of walnuts, which um, is a monounsaturated fat. Um, it's a, a good fat to have in your diet throughout the day. I'm using dried cranberries for my fruit. Um, you can use dried, uh, dried cherries or raisins, whatever dried fruit that you like. This gives it um, the sweet taste along with the pear. Um, the cranberries and cherries I have found, they just complement um, the pear taste very well. So I'm gonna use those today. And they're, the um, cranberries are easy to find as well. 
This is actually goat cheese, um, which is a good um, mild cheese to eat as well. We're going to put this in. This is actually a protein also. It's a cup of goat cheese. And I'm just going to mix this up together a little bit before we make the vinaigrette for it. It's a nice colorful, colorful salad, so um, lots of the reds and greens with it make it a very pretty salad. Now for the vinaigrette, um, I'm actually starting with a third a cup of white wine vinegar. Um, I like to use red wine vinegar a lot as well, but with the pear um, fresh fruits, it's light and if you use the red wine vinegar, it'll actually make the pear turn red. It makes it have that pinky tint to it. So in order to keep it white, we're gonna go with the white wine um, vinegar. This is about a third of a cup. Um, I'm actually um, using um, extra virgin olive oil and we're going to just whisk, gradually whisk that in. It's about a half of a cup. And then I also have about two teaspoons um, of honey just to kind of give it a little bit of a sweet vinaigrette taste. And it, um, it's a little sticky, but you want to mix that in there too. And then I always use some salt and pepper to, um, for the taste as well. This is just the black coarse peppercorn pepper that I like to use. And then um, there's pink Himala Himalayan salt. It actually has a lot of vitamins and minerals um, that our regular table salt does not have. So this is a good healthy salt to use. Um, it's kind of a pretty color too, but um, I like using the pink Himalayan salt. And you can just do that to taste however you like. And then I'm going to pour that into our salad. And we're going to toss that in really good. I'm actually going to mix it really well because I'm going to have a couple of friends come over. Um, in fact, um, they are two of the, our employees that work here with me. Um, Stephanie, who is a um, speech therapist, and Ryan, who is a physical therapist. So they're two of the employees that you get, would get to see if you were coming to visit us here on Louisville. All right, I'm going to um, grab this for y'all. I know, I hope it, we'll see. I really think you'll like it. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a fork. Thank you. All right, Ryan. Thank you. Mm. This looks really good. What do y'all think? It's delicious. Mm. Make sure I get a little bit of fruit, a little pear in here. It has a really good flavor. It does. It's really good. What do you think, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I that way in my mouth. <laughs> That's really good. It is good. It's it really delicious. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's, it's, it's got lots of protein. Um, like I said, a complete protein. It has lots of vitamins and minerals, um, spinach, um, dried cranberries, pears. The, the quinoa makes it. Um, so you just come and um, thank you for joining us today for the, at the, here in our new location on Louisville. Um, we'd love to show y'all around and um, let y'all see the place. Y'all just come back and we'll see you next time.